Oh, hello. <laughs> We've had multiple glimmer fogs, several blizzards, and a whole lot of just ordinary nasty weather over the last several episodes, but I think at least for now we don't have to care. We're hanging out in the bottom of the mine, and hopefully we're going to be able to recover something that we did forget uh, several episodes ago. Hello everybody, this is Frogman. Welcome back to the Long Dark. Our uh, Tales from the Far Territory Adventures continues. I am currently down here with Astrid hanging out in the, uh, was it level 3 on the mine? God, I hate this. Here, let me put this down so it's not so bloomy in our eyeballs. There we go, nice. We're currently down here in on level 3. I decided after the end of last episode to go ahead and do a little bit of um, resource gathering. So I went into level 2, went and kind of gathered a few things up. The uh, coal does respawn apparently down here, so we have lots and lots of coal resources. And I did gather up a couple of extra things that we just kind of laid around. There's 54 coal laying right there. There is no way we're going to get it back up the elevator with our current uh, loadout of, as to what we have. So I may have to make a couple of trips. But I did want to start today's episode down here because we left something down this particular alleyway, which I think is very, very important to us. So I am going to... We're, we're going to do the dumb this time. We're just going to get as light as we possibly can. I'm not even going to worry about the coffee. I'm going to drop every... I can't drop that. Oh, guys, that's a bad thing. I have to put that in an inventory? Can I put that in an inventory? Oh, thank goodness. That's a bad thing. That's 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 a little bit of weight that I don't want to be carrying around with me if I didn't need to. We're going to go ahead and get as light as we can, and then we're going to run down that particular alleyway or this particular tunnel and go see if we actually did leave what I think we left. So we'll drop that, that. And I don't really need those. We're just going to try to get as light as we possibly can. I think 45 is as light as we can go before it matters. We'll just drop all this stuff that won't allow us to run like we've done before. We're going after one of these. There should be another one of those down there. And I want to have it in my inventory before we forget that this map, or this should say, that this mine exists. So let's grab our lantern. And I probably should have rested a little bit, but so what? We just have one hard run through a bit of gas. We'll go get that and then hard run it back if we have to. No big deal. <coughs> Not really holding my breath IRL. I just kind of wanted to make sure we got to the end of it. And she's good. Full sprint. She'll be tired. As long as we're careful, we can walk back out of here, get a good night's sleep. The reason why I wanted to do this was because of the, the health condition that we're currently at. You know, getting that quarter eyeball or quarter bar back would be really nice. And, you know, a really quick, fast run would get it for us. So we go see what we can do to help that out. But I do, in, re, in, in post, you know, I'd love to, like I said, I'd love to be able to kind of rewatch things back. It's part of maybe the fun part about being able to do, you know, recording and whatnot is that you, if you're paying attention while you're editing videos, you notice things and stuff. And I noticed things and oh my goodness is that sneaky. Thank you. Yeah, this stem I think can actually also spawn up further up the tunnel as well. Just from watching some of my other friends play this game, uh, it, it, it can be up that tunnel. Or I think there's probably going to be a guaranteed stem in this tunnel somewhere. I don't know exactly. I haven't got 100% set on it. Who knows? But we will pick up all the random stuff that we did leave laying around. Do a quick once over. I might have missed something else. Yep, I did. Of course, there's nothing in it. All right. I don't see anything else. Scrap metal, whatnot, that can all stay behind. We are good. So my goal right now is I'm going to go ahead. We're going to run back up to there. We're going to put her to bed because there is a bed up there. We'll get her a good night's sleep, get her healed up all the way, 
And then I'm going to take just a little bit of time and haul as much of the crap out of the bottom of this mine as we can up to the level of the head stack or head shed or whatever that thing is called. Head frame, excuse me. Head frame so that we can at least easily access all of those resources because, well, we're going to need fuel. I want to go find... Mr. Smokey the Bear on the other side of the map as well as do a little bit of mapping back in that one little valley and if he happens to present himself for lunch well then we will take him for lunch but let's make another run you got it you're fine just keep going Almost out. There we go. Good deal. This uh, this lantern, I really like this lantern. It's an excellent lantern. Thank you. Pick up your tools. All right, we're going to go ahead and dump all of whatever I might have just picked up right here. And I'm going to have to sort what we're going to need because I do have a few other things in this particular cabinet right here that I want to bring up. There's a bunch of stuff in here, actually. Give me all of that, and then we're going to go put her to bed. Do a little bit of running around and try to get that eyeball down a little bit further. It's not quite that time. doesn't really matter whether or not we have the... Um, uh, ability or not to sleep. I just want to make sure she can get a good 10 hours in. That's the other thing about removing. If you're trying to run somebody out, if you remove all of the... If, if you're in a spot where you can, like down here where it's warm, and you want to be able to get someone tired, take off all of the clothing that removes your sprint bar, let it recharge, and then you can get a full-on sprint instead of a half sprint. So it helps to, helps to gain you a little bit of stuff but we're gonna go ahead and put her to bed and i'm gonna see you guys once i get everything sorted like i said i'm gonna haul a bunch of that stuff up to the head frame just back and forth and back and forth up and down that rope and then we will see where we go from there so see you guys in a little bit well that was a nice haul we got a lot of fuel and a lot of stuff i'm gonna go take about that much and i, I don't know like say maybe 20 something it's going to get us a little heavy. That's fine. That's a lot of fuel. That's a good deal. I want to take these with us as well. Cool. We're going to go back over here, drop that stuff off, and then head over the mountain. Again, I want to go see about a bear or possibly just at least mapping some of the other stuff behind the trailer over there because there seems to be some very usable stuff over there at least usable living space, living area. All of our animals, all of the edible food is all over there, which means we need to go ahead and probably figure out whether or not we have any decent viable spots to stay other than that one cave that we already know about. I mean, you know, you, we can e evict the bear if we need to, but I'd really rather not if I didn't need to, but again, we'll, uh, we'll go see. That's basically, I think, all we're going to do from here on out. We need to just continue to you know, design and find stuff that we can do. I have more coal than I know what to do with right now. Good. Drop all of those. Drop everything but, like, that much there. And if I have five sticks, we're good. And have some breakfast. Been eating cattails. We don't want to be eating cattails. I'll go inside once more and dump the rest of this stuff off. Boy, that was a short steak. That didn't last very long. I was afraid that that was going to be the way that this was. I might as well just take that with me then. But we'll go in here, dump this off, and then we'll head. Give me one second. Again, another nice foggy day. Let's go over there. And... Well, we'll see what we can find. We'll at least get to the trailer. Can't go this way. I gotta go the other way around. Uh, we'll get at least to the trailer, and if we have to, we can spend the night there. We did kill all of the wolves that should be over here, so I shouldn't have to worry too much about them. 
I'm just going to have to remember to take my clothes off once we get over here. Yeah, I'm wondering if we're going to be able to clear out the, the center section of this map or if it's going to be kind of like Ash Canyon is where there's going to be a big blank spot right in the middle of it that you can't get rid of. Well, I mean, theoretically, you can't get up on that one area that you can map. I mean, maybe we should go up or go wander that pile of rocks and see. I don't need to worry about it. Nothing else. We can run over here, spend the night in that trailer. There's decent viz at this point, though. We can see what we're doing. I just don't know if it would let me map. Where are we? We are right in a spot we probably should try, huh? See if it'll let you do it. Oh, looky there. So we can map. Cool. Keep going. Pick up your trash. Another wolf already back. guys leave me any little black feathers gross that's pretty much all those wolves are for feather farms there's nothing to them hello good morning can I interest you in a high interest rate home loan sir uh, I guess not Where is it going to be? There's another one. Wow. All right. Well, how about you? Are your student loans paid off? No? I might be able to help you with that. Well, hello. We just killed all these guys. We just killed all these guys. There are five wolves here. That... That was a little insane. Okay. Uh, boots off, socks off. Accumulating such a dangerous position. Yeah, it's dangerous because I don't know what's over here. Oh, we are smelly. That's why they're coming in from all over the place. I had forgotten I put food in my pocket. That's okay. That's good. That means they're going to come to us. That's what I want them to do. It's like, why are they running to me all of a sudden? It's because I'm an idiot and I have a deer steak in my pocket. Let's run up the hill. Hello, snowdrift. Okay, so we'll duck in here. What time is it? And yeah, we'll duck in here, warm up really quickly, and then go over the hill. Oh, I left boots. Nobody needs this anymore. That's amazing. Hmm. Okay, well that's good to know. Glad we uh did that. Not. All right, test time, warm up. Cool. Put your, uh, I guess we can just go ahead and do this. We'll do this, this, and since we picked them up, they're not nearly as warm. They weigh twice as much. Well, they weigh the same amount. I think they still degrade, though. But we'll put them on for now. So, did we map from right here? Now. Map. And then I'll probably have to turn around and map the trailer. No, I won't. Okay, good. Oh, 
Well, it's that time of day. If we'd run a little bit, map a little bit more. Where was that rope? So I'm pretty sure we mapped this spot. Yeah, it should be right oh. here, right? Okay. We're good. We have a place to stay. It's right there. If we need to, we'll just run in there and again, spend the night feeling better about things. Give me my bow. Oh, there is a bear. Is this same bear? Could be. Mr. Bear, do you like to come over and hang out at my trailer for a little bit? I wonder if it's same bear. It'd be about right. He'd be... So we're standing right here. It, it might be him. Hmm. Interesting. Um... I don't know if that's where I want him. I guess it doesn't really matter where I shoot him from, huh? Let's see something here. Plunk, you turn around. You do. Where can we hunt you from? We have a travoy. We have a way of moving you from point A to point B. Can I hunt you in a safe location? Possibly. Again, don't know exactly where we are right now. Ooh, that might be. Eh, it's a little, little iffy. This is the, I don't know. Again, we're going to have to do a lot of mapping over here. Can I get up on this little shelf right here? Yeah, he can get me from up here. I mean, if I can get him aggroed, that'd be good, but... Well, buddy, I know where your cave is, and I know what we need to do. Why don't you just... Hey. Hi. Kind of like to have you closer to that trailer. Dang it. Right behind him. Well, that'll... That'll spook him for a minute. Go get your food. Get your food, then get your arrow. Where did I drop that? It's right there. Okay. So that's good to know. Of course, I drug him all the way over here from wherever he was originally wandering from. That'll also mean I probably should just go ahead and eat that now, because that means any wolf over here is looking for us now. This area over by this waterfall seems to be reasonably rich in, in resources. Aside from that nastiness. Yeah, I know, that's gonna hurt us a little. Those hips, cedar limb, top of the waterfall. But get I'm being real bad about that. Pick that back up. Oh good, more cattails. We need some. I have enough rose hip tees on me now to last me a lifetime. So, he should be somewhere over here. This is the top of the waterfall, I think? I don't know. Let's check this log bridge out. Looks like a log bridge. So there's that birch forest 
Where is this waterfall? It's right here, isn't it? Yeah, it's right there. What's up here? Anything good? Hypothermia risk. That's what's up here. Okay, there is that rope climb. So that puts you up over there and then on top of that shelf. The trailer's over there. Look right at it, survey it, and then we're probably going to have to run back to the trailer. Okay, and during waterfall, it did not get the rope climb. Yeah, we're probably going to have to run back to the trailer. Or find said bear. I hear birds. Where are birds? I heard birds. We have minutes. We have time. Well, not much. Get me my bow back out, please. Hi, tree. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. I don't want to know what's over there. That looks like... Be like... Headed this direction somewhere, or possibly over here. Ooh, that's drop. Run over here real fast and then head back to that trailer and warm up. Probably sleep the night out. Once again. Okay, yeah, this is all just craggedy stuff going down over there, and that's probably a back way over to this area from the that little poisonous section that kind of wanders through right over there. Okay, cool. Uh Shortcut, probably. I don't know. Let's go back over to the trailer before that gets any worse. We still have enough calories. We can sleep a reasonable amount of time. And then we'll see about Mr. Bear. The way I'm going to skirt all of that if I can. Ooh, stick. I'm not going to grab the other one. I don't know how far up that poison is going to come. I know we have the other boots on, but the uh, I guess they still take damage. I guess we could go do a little bit of investigation on that really quickly. Sure. Let's walk into that. It's currently at 63. Still 63. Socks are doing fine. Okay, interesting. All right, let's go go get to some safety, get warmed up. I'm pushing that hypothermia a little more than I wanted to. If a bear or a wolf decided to come grab us right now, we'd be in pretty sorry shape. And I don't have enough food calorie-wise to spend 24 hours or 48 hours indoors. You're fine. Get over the hill. She'll be nice and tired. I think I have enough water. I do. If not, I need to make a little bit. I there was a fire barrel by this one. There is. Interesting. Okay, well, if the sun comes out, we'll go make us a fire and warm up. But for right now, let's just go get rid of that hypothermia risk. Nope, it's going to just kind of lock me in here for the evening, I guess. That sucks. Okay. Well, let's see. We have... Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? I don't. I don't think I'm down that far enough. I think we'll just drink an herbal. Or not an herbal, but a a thing. Pass another hour and let's see what happens. Alrighty, well, I guess I'm going to put her to bed. We're going to drink 
a birch bark that should recover a little bit and then a good night's sleep should recover even more hey that might work let's see if we can get us a maglens going possibly although it's probably fixing the change start fire no of course not let's uh <laughs> Straight into a pile of fog. Love this game so very much. We'll go back inside and pass time. Sounds decent. This is the problem. This is the absolute problem. This zone so much reminds me of Forlorn Muskeg right now. It is not even funny. I mean, I just can't uh, not understand why it is so foggy all the time it is the I, I i cut this out of the last episode and i'm going to put it in this one um this zone is absolutely eating my resources because of the fact that it does this all the time there's so much low vis all the stinking time that it's ridiculous it is ridiculous what they did we're going to go ahead, burn a match. I'm going to make some water, probably cook up a few teas, warm some stuff up, cook some porridge for breakfast, and then see what happens. All right, let's pick all this stuff up, and I'm going to leave. I think we'll just leave that one. Okay, pick you guys all up, cooked a few things. We'll do a couple of other little bitty dudes here. We're going to... that. Nope, nope, nope. Back over to where you need to go. This transfer. I still have mostly... I, it did it again. I don't know what the heck. I must not be getting them very close to the fire. It's fine. We got a few coffees. We're good to go on that point. Let's go over the hill. I'm going to finish pulling my torches. That should be enough torch. There wasn't a whole lot in that. I pulled a lot of the fire off of it, so I'm not going to worry about the... Not going to worry about what that thing could possibly have on it for charcoal. Let's go over the hill back here. See what we see. Again, I want to try to make it at least back over to the cave that we had before. Uh, way over there in the corner. Way over there in the corner. In the middle of this valley kind of area. I do want to try to map as much of this as we can. And again, if Mr. Bear is around, we'll see. He kind of surprised me that he was right there. Another wolf. Let's get up on this rock and map if we can. I think I need to map this. I guess I don't, actually. So we walk right down through here into this area. This is the top of the waterfall. Sure. Let's go. Hey, can you walk, please? We have a wolf. I just kind of want to learn this section down here. like another waterfall we already kind of know where we are so yeah he's he's very close the bear is yeah we've walked this we know where we are now uh our cave that we need is right right over there and there's this little section of river right here we've walked up and down this a couple of times and the bear cave is back behind all of this He's actually right here somewhere. I just heard him. Where are you, buddy? He's right there. So you... Your house is over there. You walk down here. Probably walk around this and then walk back. Interesting. Interesting. Not a great place to kill him. That's what I'm saying. I'm kind of looking at this bear going, where are we going to get him from? Probably better off over there. Let's go see if we can't do one little thing for right now. Let's secure us a, a large amount of food without getting dead. If we can. That looks 
looks like I might be able to walk up it. Nope. You never know. Yeah, and have to learn all the new areas of where you got to go to go hunt various things. There's a, a bork. I don't know how it's going to try to get to me. Probably can't. Where's the bear? I wonder if they're scared of the bear. You suppose? Oh, hey, that is a... Yeah, that's a straight edge. Nope, 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 back down. I don't need to be breaking a leg while the bear in the area. And now I can't get back where I was. Okay, fine. Get, 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 get back up on something like here. Okay, good. Yeah, I knew that one was coming because that's how the game likes to play things. Where did the bear go? Yeah, it's a bad spot. Just, just, just fall down the hill. He's over there. Where did you go? You're not saying anything. Go ahead. So they are scared of the bear. Good to know. He's already cold. How? We haven't been out here that long. That's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, we got a few of these. We'll warm them back up. I know my coffees are probably still nice and warm, but whatever. Go ahead, drink the whole thing. I don't care. It'll warm us back up. That's good. Uh, and then you can sit right there for a second. I just kind of want to watch the bear. Like, I want to know where he goes. If he comes down into this area, that's perfect. Because he walked over there that way over to that probably around through over there and then back up which means probably best option is to shoot him in his cave because there really isn't a whole lot of good stuff out here and i'm gonna have to take care of two wolves before i even think about anything and of course we have a snowstorm coming in i don't get it this zone is definitely a a challenge. I will give it that at this point. It is definitely a challenge. Whatever. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to stare at him a little while. We're going to see where he goes. And I will see you all in the next episode. I'll probably record it right, right directly after the ending of this one. So we'll hunt him very, very shortly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later.